obviously, yeah, uh, two big names in in this division, and they, 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 their head like their names are in the headlines every week. And Sam's obviously a sitting midfielder, but he's got more to his game than that. He's a, he's a good passer of the ball. He keeps the ball well, and I mean Gary knows he's he's the one who, who loves him, and the scouting team have recommended him. So. He's a good find in Ryan. I mean, you only have to go back as far as six days ago when, or five days ago when he was playing against us for crew. And I thought he stood out as one of the best players on the pitch in the day. And and we, we've covered him and we've watched him for the last five, six months. And and he, he again, he was a target we wanted. And the, his performance on Saturday just backed that up and we're delighted to get him as well as Sam. Sam, welcome to Wigan Athletic. Just how pleased are you to complete the move? Yeah, I'm delighted for it to finally come through. Um, it's a fantastic club with a lot of ambition and I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great move. It's a big club and um, I'm really looking forward to getting started and working with um, a great bunch of lads and some great staff. Gary uh, likes to get the ball down and play. Yeah. How does that fit your style of football? Yeah, it suits me perfectly. I could see when we played them, um, the system and the style of play suits me down to the ground. Um, I don't <laughs> play anywhere across the front three really. Um, I like to get on the ball, um, to go 1v1 against someone. and. Yeah, obviously, I, I like to have a shot and score a goal. So, yeah, I just um, that, I suppose that's me. Yeah, you've got a good goals return this season. At twenty-one, I guess you feel you've got a big future ahead of you as well with the experience you've got at a club like Crew. Yeah, I would like to think so. I mean, Crew's always been known for producing players, um, and hopefully, I'd like to think that I'll be one of those players. Um, scored eight goals so far this season, and. Hopefully I continue to do that for Wigan. You scored against us in the Johnson Paint Trophy as well earlier in the season. Yeah, I mean, um, I, try, I try to play my best every game, but um, I've done well when I've played against Wigan especially, and um, it's obviously paid off to play well against such a big club. I think it shows the, the ambition of the club, uh, the ambition of the players that they want to come, the young players, like you said, but they're hungry to, to come to a club that's... Uh, wanting to be successful that has ambitions to to, to go up the leagues and, and they want to come and, and be a big part of that and, and help us achieve that. Again everyone at the club has worked very hard to, to make it happen. Uh, there were two players we've identified for a long time uh, having played them both recently as well. The fans got to see them recently and the qualities that they both have uh, so we're really happy to, to get them signed and, and available for Saturday. Obviously, your former club Port Vale are the visitors of the weekend. Be nice to make your debut against them. Yeah, absolutely. I've um, played against them a couple of times, and they're doing well themselves this season. So it'd be a tough game, but it'd be a great few points if we can beat them this weekend. Potentially your first game against Port Vale, and, and you're a Burslem lad. Yeah, I mean, I live well. My, my dad's house is literally around the corner where I grew up. I used to watch them as a, a young lad, so it's always a, a special game for me to play against Port Vale. And hopefully, yeah, we can we can get a win. Be nice to mark your debut with a goal in front of maybe some friends in the away end. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be one of them. I don't know how, how much I'd celebrate, although I would be really happy. But um, yeah, it'd be, be great to score against Port Vale and uh, mark, mark my debut.